the participants of this ride safe in injury and harm, instill in them respect for each other, reward them for their perseverance. As this event and this day with success, we ask this request to you. volunteers whether you ride a mile or a hundred I mean it really what it comes down to is that it's such a great day for humanity it's all about helping your community cancer doesn't know any borders doesn't know any barriers it's a universal disease and we're trying to understand that and it's possible one day that we might be able to test every single woman in the Bahamas to see if they're gonna have uh, cancer We're going 30 again. She pushed me 30 last year, so we figured we'll do it again this year. My grandfather passed away from prostate cancer a couple years ago, so this is for him and for everyone else that's in the fight. And, you know, like we always say, you never know when it could be you or somebody that you know, so it's a worthy cause. I am feeling great. I rode 30 miles. 30 miles. I can't believe it. My brother died of cancer exactly three years ago. Today, exactly. And my dad died of cancer, both of prostate cancer. So I'm writing with the memory of them in mind. I, I think that what inspires me is that there are so many people who need help. The cancer in the Bahamas is a very, very um, challenging thing for us to deal with. It really is. And there are so many people who can't afford the screening that would help them to survive. And that's, that's one of the things we're concentrating on. Uh, right. It's really not about how far you go. It's about making an effort to help the greater good and help the people that grace this beautiful country. Yeah, I got That support enables us to pledge every dollar that the participants raise to the cause of cancer. The Hamans, Americans, people from all over have come together for this cause. We're saving lives. I thought the first year we had 30 people and raised $50,000 to be a home run. And we had 101 riders that first year, raised $150,000. It's growing faster than we, we can imagine. And we want everyone to have a safe day and a healthy day. Um, so we're here today and we hope everyone will join us again next year. And we're teaming with the Bahamas Breast Cancer Initiative to do um, genetic testing in the Bahamas with the uh, University of Miami Research Center. And there's, you know, the Bahamas is a very deadly legacy of breast cancer. We're trying to understand that and impossible one day that we might be able to test every single woman in the Bahamas to see if they're going to have uh, cancer or not. Cancer doesn't know any borders, doesn't know any barriers. It's a universal disease and, and obviously people respond to this and they're out here from all over the Bahamas, people from Freeport, all over the United States coming down here and enjoying us today. This has actually become the single largest one day fundraising event in the Bahamas and every single dollar goes to cancer care and cancer treatment. Riders, we're riding in memory of our father, William Brad Thompson. We lost him for, to prostate cancer six years ago. So we're riding in his memory 
And then of course we have um, um, colleagues and friends who are cancer survivors. I'm from New York and I'm riding to ride for hope. I'm actually from Houston, Texas. My grandmother, my aunt, my uncle, um, it, cancer runs in my family, so. I'm riding for cancer survivor mm -hmm. and cancer research. Party! Am I like so?